What's up guys? So today we are having kind of a little bit of an issue with my kids just yelling and screaming. So now that the schedule is the way that it is and my kids don't go to school anymore and it's summer vacation, we have to shoot at night. And they have just been making lots of noise. So this is the third or fourth time we're trying to do this today. Hopefully we don't have to do another take. Uh, today we are doing a cocktail called a Blackberry Press by a bartender named Tony Abu Ghanim. He uh, was a San Francisco bartender. I'm not sure if he's there anymore. Uh, but he, he, uh, he got his big break in the cocktail world when he created a drink called the Cable Car, which became a uh, modern classic at the bar that's Starlight Room, which is a bar, or like a hotel. It's a bar at the top of a hotel that we stayed around the corner from when we were in San Francisco last year, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And yeah. Marius was just informing me that he lost all the footage of the I stuff know. that we shot. We shot a bunch of B-roll because it had these cool sort of, is it like French, it's like, like, nouveau, like Art Nouveau... Uh, like it was Lille, uh paintings uh, on panels outside the hotel. Yeah, like old uh, advertisements. Yeah, it was like old was 1920s advertisements, yeah. whatever that art style, that style is called. Was, yeah. called. Um, it was really cool. And Marius did some B-roll shooting of it, and apparently it got lost. I totally forgot about it until just now, actually. Yeah, that whole day. I, I, I don't know. I didn't back it up or something. So know. weird. Hmm. All right, so this cocktail is um, not a press in the way that a lot of people think of a press. So a press usually signifies that a cocktail is a Presbyterian. What a Presbyterian is is a highball with two ounces of whatever spirit you want, ice and then an equal part of soda and uh, ginger ale or ginger beer on top. Uh, that's not what this is. Actually, he called this a press just because we are gonna press some ingredients with a muddler. Uh, and I thought that was a pretty apt name. It's a really nice low ABV sipper for summer. We haven't done a lot of low ABV. I'm definitely going to be getting into some more low ABV and no and no ABV cocktails this summer because uh, I've been doing quite a deep dive on these uh, non non alcoholic distilled spirits. Uh, so I want to do an episode on those soon. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that it that it doesn't mean the press doesn't mean that it's pressed. That's what I, I thought that it means that it's pressed. Well, no, no, it does mean that it's pressed. But right. like a press, if you go to a bar and you say, bartender, give me a vodka press. Well, really what that is, is a Presbyterian. And a Presbyterian is literally just a highball with like, I don't know, two ounces of vodka, ice, or an ounce and a half of vodka, depending on the bar you go to, right. ice, and then a 50-50 mix of soda and ginger ale or ginger beer. Right. So That's a Presbyterian. Say? That's not what we're making today. I just didn't want anyone that knew, like they were gonna say, cause a lot, in the comments it would say, hey, that's not a press, a press is this, this. So I just wanted to get it out in the open. This is not a press in the way that you think it is. It's the way that I think it is. It's the way that you think it is. Pressing ingredients down mm -hmm. into the cup. So first thing we're gonna do is just a few, a uh, couple few, I'll say 10 leaves of mint at the bottom. From and then your garden if you can. From our garden, well, these came from Arius's garden, so if you have a little garden, you know, mint grows like a weed, so. Yeah, it's gone crazy. Well, there's a couple things you should do, right? The first thing you should do is you should uh, plant it in a very deep. Deep container, yeah. Container, because right. it likes a lot of roots, and I think that I've been planting mine a little too shallow. So that's one thing, and then the other thing is plant it in its own container if you don't want it to kill every other plant in the container. So just, just mint by itself. But uh, his mint is going crazy and it's really good. It's spearmint, by the way, I believe. Yes, that's spearmint. That's spearmint. Cool, and we're gonna take two of these, put them at the bottom of our tin as well. So two fresh blackberries. And then we're gonna take a little bit of limoncello. I'm using, you can use any limoncello you want, but I am using the limoncello that I got from Ventura Distilling, which is a really good, very lemony, very awesome limoncello. And we're gonna just be doing one ounce of that limoncello into our tin. And then uh, we're gonna be doing uh, an ounce of creme de mure and we're using the homemade creme de mure that everyone keeps asking me for a video for and we keep not doing it. And I keep promising that we'll do it and then we keep not getting around to it. So Marius, so we gotta put this on the schedule to show people how to make this. You can also use Marie Brizard or you can use Giffard, you can use any other creme de mure you want. Combier makes a creme de mure as well. I'm using my own, uh, my own, uh, my own creation here. So we're doing one ounce of that creme de mure. Uh, and creme de mure, if you don't know what it is, is blackberry liqueur. Uh, then we're just going to do, and that's one ounce, so then we're going to do one ounce of lemon juice. And then just a half an ounce of simple syrup just to help that balance out. But there's a bit of sugar in that creme de mure, so you don't want too much in there. And we're going to have this just like a nice light press, just enough to crush the blackberry. And uh, 
press the oils out of the mint. You don't want to make it too vegetal. You know what I'm saying? By pressing the mint too much. And you don't want to rip the mint either. Although we will be double straining. Uh, so this is going to go over pebble ice, but because I pressed um, ingredients into the tin, I'm not going to like whip shake it and dump it because I want to get rid of all this stuff and have a nice clean presentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put our pebble ice in here like so. And then I'm just going to take some regular ice and put it in my tin for the shape shaking bit of the show. And we're just going to do that and we're going to have a nice shake. And maybe I'll shake it with one hand and center my glass, right? All right. And for those wondering, the opal machine, which makes the ice, is going strong. This, Actually, this it is going strong, but technically, this isn't opal ice. Oh, isn't it? No, this ice is from Penny Pound. Oh, okay. So I got a bunch of those Penny Pouches from Penny Pound to try out, mm -hmm. and Penny Pound sent me a uh, five-pound bag of pebble ice. So I'm just going through that right now. Oh. But usually we make it, like in the last year, no, in the last six months, we've been making it no, with it's pebble been ice. No, it's more than six months. We bought it last really? year, didn't we? I don't know. I don't know. All right, and then this we're year has just going to do this by. before I kill my cocktail, talking to Marius about how long it's been since we had the opal. I don't know. More than six months, less than a year? It hasn't been a year, though. No, it's probably like eight months or something. Okay. All right. And we're just going to give it a nice little snow capper. Just a little one, though, because, because we are just going to take two blackberries, and we're going to skewer them like so. And we're just going to put them on here like that. And that's going to be our garnish. And I'm going to take my Surfside sip and put it in here and give it a nice sip. Oh, man, that's good. Holy moly. It's like an explosion of blackberry up in my grill. But you know what's really great about it is that you get the nice... Tartness of the lemon, the half an ounce of simple syrup kind of balances that lemon out and makes a really nice lemon sour. Um, it's very blackberry forward. Obviously, we muddled two fresh blackberries in there. And we also made this creme de mure is made with blackberry as well. It's actually made with real blackberries as well. So we're getting that big blackberry flavor, but then we got that mint kind of right at the right on the back palate. And I'm gonna tell you right now that that lemon cello. See the thing about the lemon cello is people are gonna say, like, well, why did you put lemon cello in it? And then you put lemon juice. And the reason why is because the lemon cello is actually made with the peel of lemons. So all of that lemon oil is inside the neutral spirit that's in there. And it gives it this really, really fantastic lemon pop that you're not gonna get from just juice. Uh, so that's why that would be in there. And this is just a really nice, attractive cocktail. I like it a lot. Um, that is a fantastic drink. It's low ABV, which means it's crushable. Uh, you can drink it during the day. It's a really nice one for like 4th of July, which is going to be coming up pretty soon. Um, so there it is, guys, the Tony Abu Ghanim's Blackberry Press. If you like our channel, hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon because guess what? Even though we decided that we're going to stop kind of focusing on Patreon and start like focusing more on uh, YouTube uh, memberships. memberships, which you guys should do because you guys get all sorts of premier stuff on there, we're still going to be taking... So we're still, if you guys want to do Patreon for some odd reason, we'll still be taking money on Patreon as like, uh, I don't know, what were we going to say? Like as like a donation to the show. We also have PayPal buttons on our website if you like as well uh, to donate to the show. If you want to just do a one-time donation well, or a reoccurring donation or yeah. it's going to happen soon. Right. Right now you can buy virtual bottles. Okay. And you can buy virtual bottles. This is another thing. So a lot of people have been asking us about how to buy us liquor and you know the big problem with buying liquor is that uh, if we send liquor to our work spot if nobody's there it's hard to get and then they have to keep trying to deliver over and over again uh, obviously Marius and I aren't that only happened our... once yeah but it's a pro it is a problem and not only that but then also when you pick them up you forget to bring them yeah. I, it's not going to go to Marius's house because we're not giving out our home addresses because that would be crazy on the internet so what we decided to do is a virtual bottle program where you can just go on our website and you can look at some bottles and you can just basically buy it, it, it and then it pays us via PayPal and we'll go buy that bottle. When we buy that bottle, we'll attach your name to the bottle and uh, we will shout you out every time we use it uh, from then on out. So still working out the whole thing. We got our first virtual bottle by today, which is pretty cool. 
uh, and it's all working and up and running. So check that out as well. And I guess I'll see you guys on another time.